I'll go back to part three. Hopefully the series will end pretty soon. Step three of the build for the printer cart slash uh, workbench built out of 4040 extruded aluminum. Where I last left off was I only had basically three supports left. One over here, one in the middle, and one at the end. Secure it? Yeah. Okay. Frame's done, right? No, because I messed up. I forgot to add additional T-nuts to the bottom. I need them uh, at least one in each corner to keep it secure to the base. I have a sheet of plywood that's going to be attached with a cart that has four wheels on it. And I just don't want this thing toppling over or anything. Um, it's going to be using these brackets. I got to just cut off the nubs here so I could actually use it going down. Otherwise, they only go sideways. So now I got to get that going. Hopefully I can do this pretty quickly since I've had to take this thing apart before because I uh, kind of messed up in the assembly process that I didn't show you. So that's why there wasn't really much progress done besides cutting and putting it back together twice. All right, let me get going on this. And uh, my goal is for at least at the end of this video is to at least have the top on um, so you can see how I'm going to adhere it to the top where it's not going to shift and keep it nice and uh, flush where the screws are not going to protrude out. All right, let's get going. All right, enough of this assembly stuff. Let's just jump ahead. Uh, the frame is now finished. Right here, you'll see the T-nuts. These are going to be used to fasten the polycarbonate down. I have um, some M8 125 by 10 millimeter screws. And uh, you can just see that it's a pretty stout frame. All the corner brackets are in. Uh, it took a while to, for me to figure out all of this stuff, but all of these T nuts are now properly spaced, equal on all sides. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. Uh, these all corners have three fasteners to them. Middle has two. You know, I just went with a five leg design here. And when you go up, you'll see that it's braced there as well. So I'm just going to hand around a little bit and, uh, that's about all. <laughs> I'm actually crutching around with that DJI Osmo right now. Not that bad of stabilization. All right, this is the polycarbonate, the two sheets I'm going to put on top. Gotta to just peel off this backing. Let's see how good this actually looks.
Well, progress was definitely made this time. I uh, did some challenges with the assembly again with it uh, because maybe next time I will uh, design it and have it all done in Fusion 360. Lesson learned. Uh, the top polycarbonate, after I broke uh, that's a couple bits. I don't know how. I wasn't pushing down on it at all. I was letting the bit do the work. Three of them bent on me. I switched to a bigger one, and I really just should have just used the stepper bit. Uh, as you saw, I pretty pretty much took care of everything. The screws holding it down are nice and flush, exactly how I wanted. Uh, it's very sturdy. Well, the garage is uh, a little bit on the angle. That's why I believe anyways. But no, it's, it actually is square. Uh, I have a wheel system that I purchased that uh, mounts onto a sheet of plywood. I'm gonna have to cut a piece that's on, this will be on the next video, how to make this mobile. So this way, when I need to change the filament, work on a printer, I don't need to drag the printer around. I simply just move it like a cart or a mobile workbench. I still don't know what to call it. It's extruded table bench something and another but I think it's starting to look pretty cool uh, since no one's commented I don't know if anyone's actually watching this uh, it does have some views so hopefully this video will come out better than the last two I used a smaller camera and I'm not very optimistic that this one's gonna look any better uh, but since no one's commented except for the circular saw blade changing it out black I spray painted a piece. It looks pretty darn cool. Um, it's a primer and a uh, base coat all in one. Don't mind that. I set it down too early. I just wanted to test it. It's one of those scrap pieces anyways. Uh, but just wondering, that may look pretty sharp. So last chance. Do I paint it or not? That will conclude this video. Um, the next one will definitely be with at least the rolling cart, whether I paint it or not. It's another time allows. I do enjoy painting, but the weather's pretty nasty outside. I need proper ventilation. If it clears up, maybe tomorrow I'll tackle that. If not, it won't be tackled another time. I thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please share this with your friends if they're interested. And uh, thank you.